Hello everyone, and welcome back to my stream. Actually, it's not a stream, it's just me on Twitch. So, what are we doing here? Well, we are playing After the Storm, and we're playing specifically Scenario 4 of Part 3 of After the Storm, which is a very difficult scenario involving lots of nasty enemies that want to kill us. And we are currently trying to negotiate this. Last time I tried to play this scenario, it ended miserably with me dying all kinds of horribly. And let's see if we can stop that from happening this time. So first things first. We do pitiful amounts of damage. Now, if I can kill this guy before he gets to the to the village, I'll be very happy. And in the meantime, we've got some trouble to deal with down here. Um, there is an Armageddon Imp. There are some units that have spawned down here. There are actually some villages I could go and capture. It would not be a bad idea to do so, but we have to figure out... First priority at the moment is to deal with all of this crud that's just appeared. Most of my units are not within range, so let's send in Crendel the Marshal. Who makes an absolute fool of himself, because yeah, of course he does. Misses with all four attacks and gets hit with all three. Wonderful. Um Who's going to get that kill? Maybe it's a good job for Rogar the Swordsman. There we go. Now, still four enemies here, one of which is extremely nasty indeed. Very poor performance. So, I've still got the forest spirit who can come in here and do some damage. Probably, uh, the thing is, I want to save this space so that Elinia can get there and slow the war drone. Because I won't be able to kill it this turn. I think I'm just going to have to use my other forest spirit to come in here. Now this archer... ...will die, but we'll go there take some damage again pretty unlucky this has not been a great turn for me so far um, but I suspect that my skeleton archer isn't long for this world and hopefully everyone else will survive I'll put you there I'm gonna pull everyone back because I actually would rather the Armageddon imp didn't come out just yet. Or maybe I'll just lure it out with the skeleton archer. And then get ready to kill it next time. You guys can just stay where you are and gain a little bit of health. And you can come around here. 
Okay, I think that's all from the red player. Now, after a long time of just defending, it is now the mission of the blue player to attack and wipe these losers from the face of the earth. Looks like the bad luck is still there. I missed with all three of my attacks on 60%. What else can I do? You're almost dead. You shouldn't probably be on the front line. Mm, not a great exchange for a level 1 unit. Can I get Bardil in here? I can, but only in the middle. Alright, well you go. And then everyone else here. Fantastic. Now, you're too slow. Should probably kill these guys before I ever extend myself. Can you kill that guy? No, you're not, not even close. Good. <laughs> Do wish these guys had a healer, that would make life much easier. Okay, so... Big, powerful kill for you. Now let's get someone else in there who can deal some damage, like you. You're speedy, so I want to block you off. Okay, you are able to get into irritating positions. I can even stop that by putting you there. And you there. So now you really can't do very much with yourself. And I'm good to go. Brown player has recruited some more troops, as has Orange. Shouldn't stop the forward movement though. Okay, big white guy misses. And down goes the skeleton. That guy predictably dies. And in comes... The Armageddon Imp and gets a kill.
Well, Teal's coming out, not recruiting anything else. First things first, let's take care of this situation up here. Uh, now if my Wraith gets three hits, it will get the kill, which would be cool. No. It doesn't quite get killed itself though. So, okay, I need to get one hit with Anya. Which I do. And we are good. That was a bit silly, but there you go. Good, good, one death. No hit from you. We'll need to be able to trap and slow this Armageddon Imp. I think probably the best strategy is just to lure it out with people who are relatively tough or expendable, like this poacher, and have everyone else get out of dodge for now. Um, still need to kill this guy. Still need to kill this guy. Okay, no damage there. You run away because I don't want you to get pointlessly killed. Alright, I think I'm just about okay with any of the rest of these guys getting attacked, so I'm going to go and grab this house with the Revenant. Going to need more units soon. Oh, I have got money, at least with the red player. Now she can come and stand somewhere else, like... And Linnea is gonna need health. So is that, do I just heal Linnea, or...? Yeah, why not? All right, blue player needs to reel it in. Who's next up? Bardil, you want to go and... Uh... Yeah, everyone else is too far away. Oh, you can still move, that's cool. You can go to a house. Get some healing. You shoot into the water. All that healing I waited for you to get. Uh. 
good bit of experience for Elmania. Rubbish. Oh, my luck today. Bye, Jove. I don't normally use the phrase bye, Jove. I apologize. Strong feelings for strong moments. Alright, I need to deal 13 damage. back? Nope. Okay, so it's down to you. And of course you fail, yes. Of course you do. You're trapped, and you can't get the kill, and you're too far away, as are you and you. So I think we should be good here, and Bardil can get here next turn and start recruiting some backup. You just gain a couple of health before you do anything else. Most interested at this point to see what the Armageddon Imp does. It does the predictable and no damage, and my er, my okay, you guys gonna come south gradually you don't need to do gradual anything because you're awesome you can just pop out and fight you can even come and fight the Armageddon Imp shame it's night time that really puts a damper on my plans I am gonna start by using Durvan. So now we've got a slowed Armageddon Imp on our hands. And we can, Aurelian can uh, do that. So hard to hit without magic. I think this guy really doesn't do do much damage to it at all, even though it is magical attack. Hmm. Would like to trap it though. Which means I think the best bet is to move you around there and have you attack with the Mystic Fire attack. Okay, over here I've got some boneheads to deal with. Ooh, but what about... Oh yes. Perfect. Uh, 
And that is almost a level for you because those guys give you a metric shit ton of experience. Don't know why it's always metric. Stupid metric system. There is a drone down here and it can move quite a long way, so okay. Anyone who gets here or here can get droned. My fire fairy is going to get droned. You can get where you want to get. I do want to do some recruitment and I think this is probably the turn to do it. You're a bit beaten up though. Can I kill you with this guy? Um, only at the risk of serious damage. <coughs> Lovely sound of these guys dying horribly. Alright, now down here. Yep, I can do what I want to do, and what I want to do is... Now what I'm going to do is get some foot pads because foot pads are expendable. Oh, there's, a, there's a dog hiding here, and oh no, the dog can range my forest spirit. I might lose a forest spirit. Shouldn't do though. Even at night, fire should be able to take care of this guy pretty quickly. He just might weaken it enough that these other units that can all gang up may in fact do so. Well, to make the ganging up less bad, I'm going to stick an elven hero here, who himself. Oh, he's a bomb, and he himself could get attacked by the dog. And that could end very badly for everyone involved. So I'm going to undo that move. Don't really want to put Rogar the Swordsman. I don't want to put anyone there. Um, and I don't need to. So, get another foot pad. Can I get someone powerful? Yeah, my other Wraith. Did I not recruit you? Did I not recall you before? Apparently not. So now I've got you. Oh, I've still got a decent gold income. It would be nice if I could put you in a position to block, but I can't. Alright, we'll just have to see what comes on this flank.
Gonna have to watch out for this guy. I hate these guys so much. What do I want now? It's first watch of the long dark, so I, I think the best thing is to have troops that are good at night, and well, orcish archers are, orcish grunts are cheap. Can't generally go wrong with orcish grunts. Now what defenses do these guys have? Okay, they're pretty weak to blade and impact, so yeah, orcish grunts. Whoever goes into this house will be attackable by the big bad. Um, maybe that should be this orcish grunt. Because that guy shouldn't kill it, and this guy might get weakened by it. But it could, uh, it could also one-shot me. safely tucked in the middle and I don't really want it attacking my assassin and no, I don't mind if it attacks my assassin yeah go for it if you want to all right so the drones you could have attacked someone but you chose not to probably smart Shouldn't get killed by the demon, I said. And the dog goes over there, right? Well. I don't know, it feels like these enemies could have got some good kills there, but, um, well, they didn't. Alright, you go grab that house, because you're not going to play much of a role in the immediate vicinity of this battle. Um, things are looking good in the north, and I want you guys to start dropping your... Not deploy charge, drop charge. And come in and uh, cut this guy down to size. Actually, I want to make sure I can kill... Good work. Just like one more hit over here. Can you get round? Yeah, you can. Hmm. Maybe use you. Pfft, 
I was worried there for a moment. Uh, my RNG is not with me today. Okay, you drop your charge as well. Not deploy, drop. In the forest. Gonna have to take the chance of luring out this Enforcer drone sooner rather than later. So I think the, ch the time has come to pounce. Level four, and yeah, okay. I can get an extra chill strike. That's not that useful. Although twelve three, that is better than that than better than Optum. Get arcane resistance, um, hit points, and melee strikes is actually tempting because it's still the case that Anya's not super tanky. And uh, she's going to get hit by a bunch of stuff this turn. Oh crap! Can I undo that? No, I can't. Oh well, I think I just went for a... Oh, I went for the chill upgrade, okay. Well, <laughs> apparently randomness decides it for me. Um, I'm in range of just a drone and a human and a couple of Chaos Troopers. Not too bad. Over here are dogs in range, so I'm going to have to deal with that by blocking it. I can do that with one of these expendable footpads. The quick ones I want to save for other purposes, but you're intelligent and resilient, which is probably the perfect combination for this. There you go, you got yourself a mission, which is to distract against dogs. Quick ones, you guys. So first of all, you come down here. Pick up the barrel. You pick up that barrel. Can the dog reach me if I'm there? Nope. Good. So then you go there. You come here. You go there. You drop your charge, not deploy. And you pick it up. And you've still got a charge. We'll hopefully be able to deal with this situation. So you come in and get some healing. You come in here, get ready to fight. You guys. really is only the dog that's in range up here. Even these fighter-type troops aren't. So one of you guys can just hop down to there. And then you can come over here with the bulk of the forces. Similarly, you come to there. You're safe, and you can go into the forest behind. Right, blue player. I've got um, a exile fire dance to deal with, and annoyingly, it's chaotic so, and it's night time. And my best person for dealing with this is out of range. In fact, my best two people for dealing with this are both out of range. Let's see, love you. I'm unable to use horror in moderation, I just have to go in and batter everything with Can you guys be poisoned? Doesn't say you can't. Oh, 
Alright, so how best to deal with these guys? Do I have throwawayable troops? I do, really. But you won't kill it. Maybe I will kill you! Good job, Bardil. Well, let's get some archers in. so much damage. Wish I could do that much damage with normal archers. Not bad though. And now it's almost dead. And in fact... Anyone else down here? Nope. Alright. A good bit of experience for my Goblin Knight. You get some health. And then over here I just want to defend probably for a couple of turns. Would have recruited. And I can defend with moderately tough normal Orcs. Actually, I can I can push forward. I don't need to defend as defensively as that. You stay where you are and get some health. You can come around here. And we've got plenty of turns left, or at least so it would appear. The only problem is, we're going to get a bit bottlenecked over here. Hopefully I can just punch through with some of the powerful troops like Kiara that I've got around here. Are you stay for another turn? Do you want to just go back and come out? No, no. I believe you can get two health. <laughs> For some reason, archers quite like shooting wraiths, especially over voids. It's silly. Good thing I've got a fair few units that can tank damage here. Okay, Teal recruits a lot of weak units this turn. The Wraith goes and grabs that house. Hopefully that'll stop Teal's recruiting spree. How many other houses does Teal have? Just one down here. One there. Ah yeah, it doesn't look too bad.
I need to get units that can just cleave their way through things, I think, now. Maybe like normal skeletons. Okay, I won that fight, but at a terrible, terrible cost. You come round here. Pants. Nothing over here is good at killing wraiths. Ooh, that worked. That worked too. Okay. You need to get out of dodge. You can you can dodge straight in with the full movement that you have and plant the bomb. All right, first charge is deployed. Second charge will not be far behind. Not this turn though, it looks like. First things first, I need to get rid of this stupid Enforcer drone. I need to do so in a way that doesn't involve the death of Anya. back here for now. Put you here. Okay, that's bad, but not terrible. Don't think we're going to kill it this turn, though. Attempting to recruit a ruffian or a walking corpse, but I'm not going to. Tempted to use you as as bait, because you're you know ultimately not super important, and you might not even die anyway if these guys get unlucky. And this wraith's looking a bit exposed. Yeah, let's go aggressive. A bit worried for Durvan as well. I think he's tanky enough to take it, but I'm not sure. You guys come around this way. And you guys, you need health, so you go around here. I don't think anyone will want to attack you if you're on here.
and you're pretty safe there too. So then it's just about keeping Avethan alive. Alright, and the blue player is looking much less obstructed than they were before. Tempted to attempting to go down here and sort out these guys. I want my hero units to drop what they're carrying. What was that? Oh god. Okay, leadership! We need some leadership over here. Nope, you can't reach. Okay, need something better than leadership. Probably need horror. Need to put horror in danger, actually. Maybe I can suicide some. Maybe I can suicide you. I'll try it. Oh, you did it! Aha! Well, okay. I'm quite glad I didn't advance too fast here, then, if there's one of those bastards. Alright, let's try and lure out the orange leader. I think that should be a, a safe bet. Drop charge, do not deploy charge. You're pretty speedy. You go over here. Seems interested in interested in attacking this one. Hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go. Be an idiot. That's right. Oh, you steady on. Not the guy with the bomb. Fire in the hole. Great stuff. First structure is down. This wraith is going to come in. Alright, got to kill this stuff and do it fast.
All right, that's one dead drone. Um, why can't you run away? Oh, it's because you're there. You're blocking the path. All right. Good kill there. You run away. You're on one health. Ah, I oh no, that's the wrong person. Okay, but I think with everyone else coming out and uh, getting into the fight here, we should be able to sort it out. Get some good leadership in from Krendil. Kill that imp. And yes, now you can make it. You haven't got enough movement to get away, that's okay. You could have gone there too. Would have been better to use you because you're on less health. Got to get people into position. I think I mean, these guys need to push down to the right. Um, there is another Armageddon imp. There's an archer here. An archer there. And there is, you must not forget this guy. I haven't killed him yet. Figure out how to get the movement right. You've gone all the way up there now, and you're out of range of any healers. Well, you're not going to die instantly. You can get that house next turn. You can come down here. You need healing. You need healing. What are you going to do? Are you just going to go up there and kill... You're, yeah, you're going to go and shoot Flippin' Rogar, aren't you? Can I block that by just having you attack this guy? No, because that will lure out more drones. Hopefully, uh, this guy should already be lured out by the footpad. At least I'm hoping so. So then I'm going to just send you down here to get healed. Yep, good, you're out of range now. You did deploy it, didn't you? Yes, you did, good. No one else is around, so hopefully you, you, and you, maybe even... No, you're too slow. Five structures remaining. Hmm. 
Okay, in comes Mr. B. That damage tanking ability is seriously annoying. Nine damage left, come on. There we go. You stay, oh no, there's no point you staying where you are. <laughs> Let's bring a world of hurt down on this guy. <laughs> Who's now dead and if I play my cards right, I don't have to lure any of these stupid imps out. I should. Lure out the leader on this flank. Who's got the bomb over here? How many bombs even are there? There's two orcish grunts with bombs. So you, I, want, I now want to go around this way. You two stay where you are, you stay where you are, you stay where you are, and I think then we're good. I'm being a little bit cautious here, but I don't want to get any good units killed. There we go. Orange leader's out. This, well, this white trooper has been baited, and unfortunately that blocks the enforcer. Fire in the hole! Okay, we've got a blood imp here, we've got... Oh, where did you come from? You must have appeared out of this hole, I guess. Um, we've got a Chaos Bowman. Can you reach? Not yet, but maybe... You have marksman, so you can snipe that guy. Need someone now to snipe this guy and then not be in range when the bomb goes off. There we go. You should trigger this Armageddon Imp to come out. Deploy charge. And you will not kill Irelian.
Okay, you're now in range of the Enforcer. <laughs> I could get the kill with you, but that would be a very dangerous move. So instead... So I'll use a random skeleton. Ah, okay. I've got a shapeshifter. That's very annoying. I'll have to get blue in to help deal with this situation. It's going to be difficult to deal with Orange's leader with that Armageddon Imp there. In fact, it may be worth wasting a... Uh, a bomb on. Because blue is not really equipped to take out Armageddon Imps. That's a deeply huge amount of damage to deal to a forest spirit. Especially one with experience. Oh, I'm quite worried I'm going to lose this girl now because she might get energy shock next turn by the Enforcer. You shouldn't go there because you'll die and you're loyal. I don't want you to die. Can you go across? No, you can't. Good. What I can do with you is put you here so that you block this lady from getting around. All right, next mission. There's two leaders down here. Would like to kill both of them. Not that many turns left. This square is safe. Can you head over here? Uh, no, I will want some good units on this side as well. So you and you will die to the bomb, hopefully. Everyone is in, apart from this one trapper, who's going to be convalescing for a while. You hop down and get some health. I don't know why I'm being so conservative on this fight. No one can even reach me. This will come out further, since you don't need health. You could even come to this rampart. And there are more barrels, so I, I do have some cunning things that I could pull. Rip the foot pads, gotta say. Blue's turn, four structures remaining. Gotta kill this guy. Some poor uh, efficacy there from Bardil. Hmm, I don't want Blue to lure out the Enforcer drone. I want the Enforcer drone. I do, actually, I don't mind. I don't care if Blue lures out the Enforcer drone, really. So let's come down here, put Bardil there, get a good kill. And now, the world is my oyster. OK. 
how far can you reach? Not far enough, good. You guys come down here. You can be there. No one can get b back far enough to kill you, I think. Alright, now the main task will be to try and kill this spellcaster, spell dancer. I've extremely cleverly brought only units that will be absolutely useless at this task. You're too slow. Can I? No, I can't zone of control the spell dancer, but she's a skirmisher anyway, so she can't be zone of controlled. Uh, I can't reach her keep except with my loyal goblin knight, who I would rather not waste on that. Should probably just go for it, really. That magic attack, such a bastard. Realistically, she can take down pretty much any number. Let me just see if she has any... She's got so many abilities that I need to check behind to see if, it's, if she has any extra ones. Heals plus four and skirmisher. Okay, no, not really. some poison in. Rip that guy. Well, if you kill him, at least you'll still be standing there next turn. And if you want to come and kill this guy, well, that is another kettle of fish, isn't it? You stay where you are, one more turn. I uh, don't really want you to get in range. Well, actually, no, you can't do much damage during the day, so you might as well just get into a good defensive position. Okay, now let's see what the where this enforcer decides to go. I bet it's going to go for one of these. It's going to try and norm one of these grunts. Oh, interesting, run over there. Very poor. <laughs> this is what I like to see. Enjoy your victory while it lasts. Fire in the hole. Down goes an Armageddon in. I mean, you know, I could have used that experience, but um, equally, there's plenty of experience going around the campaign. Three structures left. Um, I've got one bomb on this flank. I've got three bombs left on this flank. And on this flank, I can come in behind and uh, help out the blue player. You're getting to be an expert at hitting people on 30% uh, chance to hit, my friend. Uh, you will do very well once you're upgraded. Okay, got to kill this thing, and I can't reach it with my forest spirit, which is irritating. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to trap it and uh, bait it with some orcs. Oh, 
I could do something really, really tricksy over here. Well, let's see. How far can this Armageddon guy reach? Not far. And then you come over here. You guys, then I probably want you... Well, hmm, maybe you could come and actually take this guy out. That would give me some more flexibility on this flank. Good stuff. Let's advance on the brown leader at the same time as clearing out the rest of this crap. Drop, not deploy. Can I actually lure? How far can the brown leader move? Quite a long way, not quite far enough to reach this drone. Not brilliant. Good for you. Alinea, you come and heal them. Or unpoison them. You pick up the bomb. Go over here. You come down, join the party. You come down, join the party. You also should come and join the party. Or maybe actually, no, you should come over here. Give, I mean, over here, this this looks like it's going to be a cakewalk now, unless more units spawn. It'd be nice to get this guy to come out of his house. Can I tempt him with a wraith? Only if I also expose it to the Alright, that's the red player. Now you stay where you are. If any nasty units spawn around here, which they probably will next turn, I'll need a way of dealing with them. Oh! I desperately need to block you. Good, I can. Good. All right, so sadly, you are going the way of the dodo. None of these guys are skirmishers, so I can't quite pull this off the way I'd like to. Maybe I can, because I think, well, teal goes, no, teal goes after orange, unfortunately. You're not fast enough. Um. Okay. 
Okay, so you go around here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Pick up the barrel. And then... Down goes Orange Leader. Now I've just got a um, Armageddon Nymph to take care of on this flank. You can go and grab this. You grab this house. Attempting to use you for silly purposes. Yeah, why not? You guys really want to come over here, fight this guy? You know what? You can. You stay where you are. You stay where you are. You stay where you are. You come down here. Everyone stay away from here. No one else can reach up this way. So you can just run in. The next turn you should survive of all things. I want to grab this village, but I know that if I do, the Armageddon it might be tempted to go that way rather than searching for what's right in front of it. Get them ready for next turn. You can get healing. Actually, you can get healing as well. You guys are piss weak. And you need to stay where you are in order to... Well, no, you've got more experience and more health. Right! I think that's blue done. You can move up a bit. And now let's see what happens. We've got 10 turns left, basically. Yep, more teal units pop out. If I can't kill this guy, then it would have to be a suicide mission for Hushnak the Grunt. But Hushnak the Grunt has got no experience, so that's not too terrible, if it has to happen. Should be able to tempt this storm tide out. That's not good during the day. Especially in combat, so I, I don't need to worry about using a Vethan. So I do need to make sure I can clean up back here. Okay. So I'm going to send Durvan back. And everyone else can deal. Twenty-one. 
Okay, good kill, good kill. Alright, you guys are pretty neutered. Pierce damage. Good, nice little bit of experience for this revenant, and now you can do your job. Deploy charge. We're on a fairly steady rate of one structure a turn at the moment. We can make that more soon. You can't move away. You can, however, try and kill this guy. Just in case he might not go for you next turn. Uh, Wraith would be a nice snack for you, so I don't want to use you for that. Instead, I think I'm going to use you to go and grab a village off white. Oh no, can't do that. Not fast enough, oh well. Come back up here. Did get all the villagers around the place, didn't I? Yeah, good. This is a level 3 imp. I'm pretty sure I can kill it. Um, maybe not this turn, these units aren't that powerful. Maybe I should just take out the Armageddon imp instantly. Um, that's probably safer than waiting. Come on, it's such a tempting target.
shame you can't get one further south. Maybe... Well, you can't get to there. Where can you get to? You can get to there. Okay. This ought to do it. You're trapped. You're weak. If you go there, you go there, you go there. It's kaboom. And we have the intended effect. And now the rest of the blue troops can move with impunity. So much damage. Oh, that's just hilarious. Okay. D deploy charge. No one around to get blown up by this. And then you can survive. Unusually. For an orc. I think that's the blue player's turn. Because I think what's going to happen now is you're going to go there. Maybe, maybe not. If it doesn't, I can just kill it with the remaining blue troops. We'll see. Yes. Okay, it's not dead, which is perfect, because now... Level 3 in, level 4 in. Why did you die? You should... You're a lucky bastard. You should have died. Fire in the hole! Okay, nine turns left, and there's only one structure remaining. I've never done this well before. Oh, you're not quite close enough. I didn't plan that right. You are, though. One hit, come on. There we go. Well, you can't do anything useful over there. You could do something over here, you could come and help these guys. Ah, oh, all five hits. Glorious. And then you could come back over here, get on this house, get some health. Feed this experience to the... Long swordsman who's close to a level now. You come around here and kill this guy. And we've got a shapeshifter on our hands. Brilliant. Okay, we'll slow you. The Durvan, and then we'll use... And you guys do decent damage to these. It is daytime, so you're not going to be as effective as you usually are. Good going. I 
that more or less makes up for it, but you're almost dead. Okay, now I've only got attack party in the south. Um, you can wait, stay where you are. Actually, no, you can come in because you can soon be healed by this shide. Um, we've got a storm tide. Um, now, if I could clear out this drone. Well, I can't. Maybe a linear? You don't quite get the healing. Okay. Now you easy kill. Should be. Alright, only one leader left. And what else have we got? We've got the shapeshifter on one health, we've got the white, yeah, the white leader. Um, we've got these guys. I think this is mostly in the bag. Strange as it is to relate. And now it's for the blue player. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. And come out a bit, drop your charge, and come around here. Oh, it's a flipping thing amid bobbly wop. Okay, well, we can get lots of fire attacks in on it. No one but no one can defeat the awesome power of... Oh, that's why you didn't die! I see! Interesting. I should have figured that out. No one can defeat the awesome power of this much range damage. <laughs> yeah, you're still alive, just. And down you go. Okay, now... An ordinary orcish archer can pick up this and get into place to get the scenario objective next turn. You just come inwards. Form up around Mr. B. Irritating quantities of teal units spawn. Um, you're wounded, so you go grab villages. You, on the other hand, can just come over here.
catch up. And you are almost at an after maximum level. see it even in principle being a bad idea to kill these guys. Okay, and it's a level for Rogar who becomes like Tarankin, a mighty swords master. Over here, there are officially too many swordsmen. You stay back. Don't want to get swordsmen. You go there. Get some healing. I'll use you two to trap you in. Pretty much cleaning up these teal units as they come out now, so that's good. Ah, one more hit would have done it. Oh well. Can't really complain. Are you safe? Yeah, you're safe. Blue! Goodbye, little archer. With moderate amounts of experience. Oh, when did you... Oh, irritating. an infuriating unit type. Yoink. Bardil, you come down here. Someone actually, you should go there, because that stops this in getting a, uh, getting out and being annoying. And you shouldn't die when the thing goes kaboom. If the imp goes there or there, then it will get injured. But that's uh, one I'm willing to take, or a chance I'm willing to take. Everyone else, get in position for whatever else this scenario might be about to throw me. 
because we're going to see an Earth Shattering Kaboom. If you want to do that, you can do that. Fire in the hole! Destroy that enormous monster before it gets a chance to rain its fire upon our troops! Alright, it's Red Player's turn. I've got a big badder boss, Custodian Drone. I've got seven turns left to kill it. Um, what's the objective, actually? Secure the portal. Alright, well. Um, it's got a very nasty ranged attack, um, and it will, I imagine, use it. So I ought to try melee first. This seems like a good bet. You will level after taking it. But first, let's just see if I can do what I want to do. Okay, I got the one hit, and I think one is enough to mean that Avathan is going to win this fight. There we go. All leaders defeated. Got to take a little bit of care that these irritating troops don't come and swarm me too much. So we've got to make sure that... So who's going to be completely useless against this guy? Um, you're going to be completely useless. I mean, you're completely useless against everyone, but you can't, re you can't even reach the, the horseman, so... I kind of feel like Durvan shouldn't go anywhere near that thing. a pretty good job. And you guys are alright too. Blue ought to be able to deal with this guy. Okay, you've redeemed yourself. Okay, let's see if this works. Only 614 Firefly Rain, interestingly, when I attack with this guy. Seven times eleven Firefly Rain now, it's still 77 damage. And if it gets weakened, so that's 7 times 9, which is maths, um, 63, um, and it can do 52 with its energy shock anyway. So I do a need to do a little bit more damage to it. I'll go for the straight out kill this turn. Okay, so now it's 7 times 8, which is 56, which is not that terrifying, so I'm going to try and slow it. Oh, 
shit. Am I gonna lose my shide? It's only got it's got 64 health left. All right. Um, I've got one more ace up my sleeve, and that's the fact that Kiara can do an metric fuck ton of damage, especially if she has. Oh no, she won't have Bardil, Bar, Bardil's leadership. Um, how much? How resistant are you to Pierce? Unknown. I haven't killed you yet, I guess. Bad idea. This village as well. There's one more teal village there. I think teal stopped recruiting now. Teal has only got two units left and one of them is about to die and the other one might be about to die as well if I can pull this off. Pooh, okay. Ah no, it's very resistant to pierce damage. I don't have anyone over here who can slow it. That's very irritating. Alright, first of all, try and take out this shapeshifter. Okay, you get in there, get ready to provide leadership next turn if you need it. You... Stay down. Time for the suicide orcs. You're too slow. Oh no, okay. Well, at least you should have a, an easier target than my Shide, although... Hmm... Very, very sad if I lose that unit. My only healer in the campaign. Maybe I'll just save and scum it. <laughs> I've been playing this scenario for, what, like <laughs> three and a half hours already? Yeah, why the hell not? Toro, get in. I was really thinking you would kill that orc there. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna scum this. Hey! Don't do that. You can't retreat. Ah, oh, how beautiful. Let's get the few remaining houses. Can't get all of them. I'll do, and now someone gets the killing blow because this thing's only got seven health. Skeleton? Nah. Skeleton doesn't need experience. My wraiths aren't doing all that well for experience in this campaign, and they're all too far away. This most of them too far away from the action, so I'll try it. All right. 
fine, it did. Finally, that thing was a real nuisance. You don't say you caused me to save scum for the first time in the campaign. Let's just find that portal. Okay. Bardell gets 30, 136 bonus gold. Elenia gets 160 bonus gold. Looking at the statistics. Um, now I can only see the statistics for Elenia, but it looks pretty good. I only lost level 1 ghosts and 3 foot pads and arguably a shide, um, but that doesn't count. So long, long swordsman, swordmaster, elvish marshal, forest spirit, five fairy, lots of high level units. Uh, on the whole, that was quite substantially better than my previous attempt, which took four hours and ended in failure. So, thank you all very much for watching, and come back next time for more of Episode 3 of After the Storm.